Good morning. My name is Nancy and I'm here with a, another tutorial. One moment, I am setting down my phone. I apologize for any noise that might make. And today I'm just going to be showing how I do basic cores using polyfill. And the reason I use polyfill is I got into needle felting about a year ago, uh, March of last year. And through watching several tutorials and doing a little research or experimenting, I have discovered a uh, polyfill makes a great core and it is a great money saver. And to get started, if you're going to be following along, I am using my styrofoam mat. You're going to want a mat of some sorts. As you can tell, this is my favorite one. I've got a little bit of a dent here. I use this one all the time. I love this thing. And you're going to want some fingertip protectors. I highly, highly recommend getting fingertip protectors. Back when I was still new to uh, needle felting, I hadn't uh, gotten any of these yet. Oh boy. <laughs> Trust me, you're going to want fingertip protectors. And then today I'm using a three needle tool. I bought this, I believe I got this at Hobby Lobby uh, with your three needles in it. It is a great tool for uh, making your cores. Uh, works a lot faster than a single needle. And then of course, you're going to want your polypill. I got this, I believe, at Walmart. Uh, I've also seen it at the Hobby Lobby and Michael's, and there's probably other craft stores out there that would have it. Now, polyfill also comes, I've noticed at Walmart, they've actually got like big boxes of it too. I personally have not done the math yet. Uh, that might break down to be a better bargain, but I usually just go ahead and buy it in a bag. And if you will bear with me a moment, let me change chairs here. I'm just moving to make it a little bit easier for you to see what I am doing. Bear with me a second. Okay, here we go. Now, to uh, make your cores, um, use, making a ball is uh, your most obvious, most common uh, shape to make for making cores. And um, as demonstrated here, this is one of my first ever snowmen I ever made. And this little lady here, these are a couple of my first ever snowmen I made back when I was still needle, needle felting and uh, getting the whole hang of techniques and stuff. And uh, so this is a great way to just practice basic techniques and making cores. It's just making balls. And what you want to do is go ahead and take a cap off your tool. Slide on your fingertip protectors. All right, make sure you got those on. And then grabbing some polyfill out of your bag. You know, just a chunk of it. Now what I do, the easiest thing to do for me is actually start with just a little bit. And I'm sorry, I've got my camera popped up on with some phone, some uh, books here and it's kind of hard for me to see. I hope. You can see this okay. All right, and I'm doing just a little bit. Take your three needle tool and then in between your fingers, just start felting down. Now using polyfill does take time. Needle felting is a project that does require patience. And I will admit that using polyfill, yes, does, you know, it's gonna take a little bit more time than if you use, you know, just core wool you know, rolling that up and felting it. But like I said, for those of you on a budget or, you know, just like saving money, this is a great way to save money. And all I'm simply doing is just rotating. That is one of the keys to making your cores here with polyfill is to keep rotating and it'll start forming a ball and Kind of hard to see but it's already starting to form a ball now this is still you know soft and spongy still fluffy so just keep felting a little bit longer a little bit longer and it'll start getting a little bit firmer and a little bit firmer all right and then once you get yourself a little ball going just take off a little bit more of your polyfill and we're talking just a little bit just lay over the top now what I'm doing is taking my two fingers and just 
kind of holding down and then just felting some more. And that's basically all you're simply doing is just felting down your fluff, rotating and rotating, and you're just forming your ball in that manner. It is so simple, easy to do, and you might want to kind of go a little bit slow at first if you're still new to it, you know, to get the hang of it. But the more and more you keep doing it, the faster and faster you get. And actually, you know, once you start getting the hang of it and you start getting faster and faster, this doesn't take as long as uh, it, it might seem. Now, I'll admit my first couple of snowmen there that I made, it took me a while because I was new, I was nervous, didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> so I just, you know, took my time, went real slow. But now... I've become a lot more comfortable with my needle felting, and uh, I make snowmen like just all the time. I mean, I have made a bunch of snowmen, and uh, it's gotten to where I, uh, you know, not to brag, but uh, I've gotten a lot faster on making my snowmen. It doesn't take me nearly as long. But like I said, you know, it's just one of those things you just got to practice. And I said, just keep rotating and rotating. Felting down that fluff. And I apologize, you might be hearing some background noise. You might be hearing some jets. Uh, I live in Las Vegas and I live right by the Nellis Air Force Base. And uh, so you might be hearing some jets there. That, that's a daily part of our life around here is jets. So I've gotten where I ignore them. I don't hear them half the time, but. My uh, phone camera might be picking up the noise, so that is what you're hearing. And there you go. And then just by adding a little bit more fluff, a little bit more fluff, just keep needle felting down, and you just start forming a ball. And the more you just keep adding and keep adding, your little ball will get bigger and bigger, and will turn into a ball this size. And this is what uh, my basics are, like I said, for my snowman is uh, just making balls like that. Now I will show you a little trick. As you can tell this snowman sits kind of flat, kind of got a flat bottom. Now what I do is kind of just roll, roll it around for a second, just see where it lands naturally. Now you might want to have your fingertip protectors on for this, but wherever your ball lands naturally, what I do is I pick it up like that, flip it over, and there might be like a little bit of a flat spot already formed. And if you just take your three needle tool and just start felting in one spot and just kind of go around and around a little bit. And the more you felt, just keep felting in one spot and just kind of, you know, widen out your spot a little bit. It'll start forming a flat spot. I hope you can see that. But there's a little bit of a flat spot there. And once you get your flat spot to where you want it, there you go. Then when you go to build your snowman, it's uh, it'll sit flat, and it's a lot easier to build your snowman on there. Alrighty, and another thing when you're building cores is you might want to make like a, uh, I guess you could say like an oval, as demonstrated in my ladybug here. This is also a polyfill core. And all I did was, you know, make it an oval. So what you do on that is you go ahead and, you know, take your ball that you got going and just take a little bit of polyfill at a time, set your ball down, and then just on one end, I'm showing that I'm putting it on the, just one end here, kind of pinch it. Then all you're going to do is come at it from the side and what you're doing is just adding your polyfill on just one side. Rotate it to you. Just keep felting your polyfill, your fluff down, just on one end. Alrighty, and just keep building up and building up. And all you're doing is just adding it to one end like this. 
And all I'm doing is coming at it from the side. You might want to go at the top a little bit, get the fluffs that come up here. All right. And what you're going to start doing is, this is kind of hard to tell, it's still kind of small, but as you're building on the end, you're going to start making an oval. All right. Let me add a little bit more here and I'll kind of give you a better idea. I, I'm just doing just a little bit at a time, right on the same end. I'm kind of holding, holding the fluff there between my fingers. All right. And I'm just felting in from the end. All right. I'm getting the top here a little bit. Some of the fluff came up on the top. That's fine. Just felt that down. And all I'm doing is felting from the end. And what I'm doing is taking my ball. There we go. All right. Now that's still a little fluffy. I didn't felt it down very tight. But as you can tell, I'm already starting to develop an oval. And as you can tell, last night I was practicing. So your oval can turn in to something like that. Now this here, I could go ahead and turn that into a ladybug. I might go ahead and add a little bit more. But, or if I wanted to go as big as this ladybug, all I got to do is just keep adding some more polyfill and I could turn it into a ladybug that size. Another thing too, uh, of doing your needle felting in that way is if you need something that's an egg shape, you could make that, this looks kind of a little bit like an egg. And uh, you could also make egg shapes, or like I said, you can make ovals. So it's just a matter of how you add your polyfill and how much. And another thing too is uh, you might need, this is kind of hard to tell. I was practicing, oops, this last night. This is supposed to be a cone. As you can tell, it's still in process. I was thinking of maybe turning this into a gnome. This might be a hat on something. Um, but you can also make cones. And what I did for the cone was simply, and I did take a little bit more fuzz. And all I did was lay it down on the mat. All right. Get those fingertip protectors on. All right. Just laying it on the mat and just kind of flat. And all I'm doing is just going down and just belting down like in a circle. All right. Bring the fluff in from the edge. Hold that down. And then just in between your finger and your thumb, and I'm just felting it down flat. Now this does take time because I said it's really fluffy when you first start. And then I'm adding, and all I'm doing is bringing it in from the sides, bringing in the fluff, felting down. Like I said, you need to be patient on this. This does take time. Oops. Fingertip cover came loose there. Yeah, this now this does look a little funny to start with, but the more you felt it, the flatter and flatter it'll start getting. And then what you could do too is go ahead and flip it over. Go ahead and do the underside. <coughs> Pardon me. Go ahead and do the underside. And then bring that fluff in a little bit. Like I said, this does take time, so just be patient. But the more you keep felting and felting, it'll start getting flatter and flatter. Okay, now one thing you can do too is a trick. If you have seen any of my previous videos, I did a video on my Christmas bears, my little roly polies, and on the feet and on the ears is a technique I showed you. And also on my pumpkin, it's the same technique. This little topper here, this is a little technique that I use. And what I do is I've got that, you know, kind of flat. You can see it's still fluffy around the edges. I pick it up like I'm holding a coin and coming down in between my finger and thumb. I'm just felting the fluffy edges into the circle. That's another trick you can do with polyfill. Polyfill is one of those things, it's, uh, 
you just kind of have to practice with and practice with. Like I said, I've been doing it you know, since last year and through different various projects I have made, I've developed you know, little tricks like this. And like I said, through watching you know, different tutorials and stuff, you know, this technique, you know, I can't claim it exclusively as you know, I came up with it, but this is how I came up my, with my way of <laughs> doing polyfill fluffy edges. There we go. Okay, now, okay, like I said, it's still, it's still fluffy. I would actually felt it a little bit longer. It's still fluffy. But as you can tell, what started out as a big piece of fluff is now kind of like a flat wheel, flat coin, however you want to say it. Now, normally, like I said, I would felt longer. Now, what I want to do is if I wanted to make it a, a cone shape, like that is take some polyfill, put it right on top, slip on my covers, just add a little polyfill right on top of the flat uh, coin or a wheel or whatever you want to call it, and just start belting down. And then what I'm doing is I'm turning it this way. And just start felting and felting. And then all you're doing is just building up and building up. There you go. And as you can tell, that's already starting to get a little get a little thicker. And like I said, what I did was I made this you know a little bit bigger round. You can always add a round and then just start building up and you can start forming your your cone. And that I believe is the basics of how to use polyfill as your core. And like I said, once you learn how to manipulate your polyfill, how to build up and build up, you can start milk making different shapes. Like I said, you can start with a simple ball. You can start making eggs, start making ovals. You can start developing uh, cones. And then that's when you can start you know, creating your creatures. I said this is just a basic ball here. Now this bear, this was actually my first ever freehand without a kit and kind of proud of him <laughs> for being my first uh, freehand. And all he was is a basic oval, just like on my uh, ladybug here. His body's a basic oval and then his head was just a basic ball. And I uh, joined those two together. I covered with roving, joined those two together, and then made his legs, ears, and his cute little face. So that is the basics of using polyfill for core. Like I said, it's really simple, but it does require time and patience. So heads up, <laughs> you're going to need patience, okay? And I hope I was able to teach you something today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I do have other videos out there showing my uh, pumpkins. I show jack-o'-lanterns and I am in the process of uh, also, I mentioned this earlier, my little Christmas bears, and I am in the process of making a snowman video. I'm in the process of that. It's going to be a three-parter and so please be looking for my snowman video and I Hope you all have a nice day. I appreciate you watching my video and uh, happy felting. Thank you.